Put my gopher twice. Hello everybody, welcome here today. This is a Heritage Rough Rider, which comes in 22 long rifle, and there are conversion kits, cylinders for 22 Winchester Magnum, which is what we're equipped with today. This specific model is the six and a half inch barrel, six inch, six and a half, I don't know, half an inch does make a difference. Uh -huh. What we got going on, is we're going to be testing 22 Magnum from a pistol, uh, Winchester Super X 22 Winchester Magnum. These are 40 grains, rated at 1,910 feet a second. Probably 20, 22 inch barrels where they got that from. And these are jacketed hollow points. These are non-pistol rated projectiles, bullets, ammunition. Standard, it's soft exposed lead at the top with a copper jacketing for around probably the other 60 70 percent of the bullets i know we're not getting anywhere near 1900 feet a second I'm gonna guesstimate we'll see around 900 maybe a thousand feet a second might surprise me you might might see 12 1300 i've got a feeling these are going to just gonna rupture my eardrums Twelve sixty-eight, and we hit my gopher down there. Twelve thirty-seven, eleven ninety-three, thirteen oh two, twelve ninety-eight. Our average here, sir Winchester Super X forty grain jacketed hollow points on twenty-two Magnum. 1,259 feet a second, five shot average. A high of 13,802, a low 1,193 feet a second. Extreme spread 109 feet a second, standard deviation 45.6, and naturally it was a five shot uh, reading. Oh, oh that showed up. Ended up losing it though. Let's uh, fuck it. Let, let's let's keep pummeling. Cylinders clear, and we did capture one. Look at that. Being around the uh, twelve hundred fifty feet a second average. It's a touch bit harder than what you get from 22 long rifle out of a rifle. As we can see though by the movement of the gel, it's non-existent. Not a whole lot of energy being transferred in, but that first shot had a little bit of an opening. It's not, not in, like super impressive. I'd put that at around half an inch of uh, permanent cavitation probably tumbled judging if we just take a look straight down that can't really read my ruler anymore man that's unfortunate that'd be an inch that'd be two that'd be 
coming coming around just an inch in is when the tumbling starts to happen. Shot number one didn't start tumbling until two inches. Shots two and three began their tumble at one inch. That carries until that would be ten, nine, eight, seven. Seven inches right here is where we've seen to fully a 180 degree yaw and now the projectile is traveling base first but considering if you're using these on defensive purposes though that yaw does happen in the in the sweet spot so, might be real small amount of energy coming in real small projectile not very explosive but the tumble does happen where you want it to and then after that, as we continue on down the track, the only projectile we captured was shot number two. And that's at the 15 inch mark. Which, depending on who you go by for standards, does sit within projectile standards for maximum penetration inside of 10% ballistics gelatin. It's over the minimum under the maximum so that it would be considered a good load doesn't really look like it expanded all too much that uh a bullet in you is still a bullet in you i don't want to get shot i don't know about you but shot number one went a little over it exited the block at around 15 and a quarter inches very little channel though and shot number three ended up yawling out at the 12 inch mark. We'll take from that what we can take from that. With that one, thank you guys for watching.